No, 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 it's mummy's. Don't stop. Mummy's out. She wants to take my eyes out of my drink. She wants to just take the eyes out of the drink. And I'm just trying to cool the water down with it, so I don't want her to. I've got a raging headache and I'd want to... So hot. No, I'm going to go and have some. Mm -hmm. Do you like to come outside yeah. with me? Would you like to go and play outside? Mm. <laughs> yes, you are. Mm. Come on. Come on. While the Larkin Smiths look after say? Connor mm. and Letitia, Tanya is having a consultation Just with check Kim. check on all of that. I suppose the first thing I want to say is that it's Thursday and we're coming up to our last day in the house. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Fine, because I know like, I can cope with it now, so I know I can do it. Something's changed Good. inside you. I think because, like, when she's had her tantrums, I've dealt with them and they've just stopped. So now I, you know, I've done that by myself. I haven't needed anybody to stand there and say, like, you know, this time. Other. So, yeah, I know that when we go home, it's still going to be the same. I think you're quite sad to be leaving this house and you're going to find it hard to say goodbye. Because there's not been this support. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I do. Not that I ain't got support at home, but I don't think I ain't got the right support. I lost my best friend. You lost your best friend? Yeah, she'd been dead just over a year you now. What was her name? Bernetta. She died of cancer. I was just going to go visit her that day as well. And she died in the morning. Did you know she was going to die? No, I mean, we all knew she was poorly. She'd been in remission and then she got, it came back and it spread and she was in, like, the hospice and everything and she went home for Christmas, but she said to... Like, she didn't tell me on the phone when I spoke to her, but she told her neighbour that yeah, I've had enough now. I mean, she'd battled for eight years. But she's just, you know, she's gone because I'm going to make it on the phone and say, Benetta, I'm not, any, you know, I'm not, right, any, no, right now, I'm not feeling, you know, too good. And we'd just talk for hours and I don't have that anymore. No. But you need a close friend, don't you? You need another woman who can support you and, and you support her. So that's important. Uh, what would she then say to you if she had watched your journey? If she had seen what you'd gone through, that you've come a long way, and you know you have, she'd, like, she'd be able to see how strong I have. Like I feel, I feel a lot stronger than Sunday when I came in. For the first time in a long time, I'm proud of myself because, like I say, Sunday I was just like, I can't do this. I got in here and I just froze. I thought, what am I doing? And it's taken, you know, to do something like this for me to realise that it's not Letitia. You know, and it is me, and I've had to do that, and that's hurt me a lot, you know, through the week. I'm like, I can't believe how, you know, bad I've been doing, really. Um, but, like, looking back now, I'm like, I'm really glad we've done it. So you've built a friendship with your yeah. daughter? Yeah. <laughs> so you've got lots of happy times together with her, as friends. Isn't that great? And it makes you feel... Oh. Because I've just never, I don't know, just never, I've never felt it before with her. No. And who did all that? Me. Absolutely. You did it. 